This video is brought to you by Battle Tested Film Gear for all your tips, tricks, tutorials, and tools. Check us out, battletestedfilmgear.com. Here's Kyle again. Here's Sheldon for the first time. The first time. Uh, I can just hold that. Can't put it up to me. Oh no. It's it's gonna be rigged. You can just hold it if you want. Oh no. So here we are today. In the shower! Well we will be in the shower. I am in the shower. So this is a, uh, the largest shower we can get a hold of right now. This is a pretty quick, we threw it all together in like two days. Yeah. Pretty quick. And uh, we had somebody graciously volunteered their house as a location. So um, this is the first time we're doing, or I'm, I'm doing lighting a kind of a water on soap shampoo experience. So, and we kind of did this sight unseen uh, as far as what we were getting when we got in here. I'm sure it's all echoey in there. Um, so the, the environment is such that, as you can see here, camera's there, we have the shower stall, kind of the corner, nice tub area, all that stuff, and everything is just wrong. Not wrong, everything is just so that everything's in the way. So the camera doesn't quite fit far enough back to get exactly what we want. Um, the angle of the door doesn't quite open exactly how we want, and the, this uh, support glass isn't exactly what we want. But we're smart, and we're flexible, and we're going to make it work. Okay, everybody. So really quick, I'm going to tell you what this whole project was about. This is to, uh, to show off these custom dice. So what you could do is you could put custom faces on any kind of material, um, these particular uh, one being, being dice. Uh, they had all sorts of different kinds of dice, different kind of uh, custom designs on it. And this one was an idea we had where we said, hey, let's put cork dice uh, as on a sponge and uh, just show off even that. You know, it's a very silly outlandish idea. Who would really do that? Well, nobody. But we had a whole bunch of different spots, commercial spots that had dice in weird situations that you wouldn't normally have dice. So as you can see, that's the whole point. So we wanted to have a nice, um, get it as legitimate as possible kind of a shower sh sh shampoo scene shampoo commercial and really showcase instead of the, the actual soap or the sponge or whatever product it's these crazy dice um, and you know it uh, for having a couple days to pull together I think it worked out rather nice so we're gonna um, jump back in here and look at the lighting I'm gonna talk over myself because I don't I didn't make a lot of sense on set that day Anyway, so I'm talking about here we have a Leco uh, ellipsoidal super hard light uh, acting kind of as a, uh, a fill, as you'll see in a second here. On, on the front of it, it's wearing a blue gel and a little bit of uh, 250 diffusion on it to soften up just a touch. On the far side, we've got a little, uh, what is it, a mold solar spot or whatever. It's like a 1K Fresnel uh, coming in acting as the, uh, the key light to supplement that window light. I love, love window light. I love daylight. Kyle's putting up, you can see kind of like an edge kicker there. We end up arming that over behind her just to kind of give again just as much separation between her and the background as possible. Um, you can see everything's wearing blue gels to match the window light. I'm talking about the hard hit on her face there on the left or on the right. And then um, that uh, 1K was doing a nice uh, shaped hit on that back wall to kind of separate her from the wall because her skin tones were actually fairly similar to the tile once you got her on, uh, in front of the camera there. Um, I'm talking about, okay, so the spaces, we're wearing a 70 on the camera today, a 2.8. Uh, that's as fast as it went. We were I, would, I would love to go on a little bit faster to, to crunch that background to separate again her from the background because we were in this little tiny shower stall just in somebody's house instead of a nice set where you can build out as much space as you, as you want between your subject and um, the, uh, the environment they're in. And I don't know what I'm talking about here, but it's, maybe I'll jump back to what I'm saying here. And the light, we're not gonna be able to hit them with the rim as hard as we want, but it'll still work, it'll still read. We're mostly gonna be worrying about shampoo, lathering, that's the whole point of this thing. Here we have the lovely Alexis. Hi. Hi there we go, hi. All right, back to voiceover. So here's Kyle, put, Kyle putting up the um, little LED battery kicker there to give her a little glow on her head. Uh, just threw some 
hardware up on the shower stall there to mount that. And then he's going to have uh, dial in that Fresnel, our key light. The problem with these uh, tungstens working with right now with the blue gels is you lose a lot of light once you start gelling down the blues. We didn't have any of our HMI uh, lights that day. So we had to just go tungsten and blue. All right, so here's some of the raw stuff we shot and I wanted to just pause it real quick and uh, look at what I'm getting at here. So as you can see, what I was trying to do was just get, a, get that background to not look like, you know, the rebath, the whatever, the whatever it is. I mean, this is a nice shower stall, yeah, so I can't argue with that. But I was just trying to make it not look like, hey, we're in a shower stall. When I'm in my shower, I only have a couple feet worth of distance to work with. So we had her stand as far as she could towards the edge of the, the shower and um, uh, and the background as far away as possible. I opened up all the way on the uh, aperture and then we try to separate her from the background as much as possible. And again, like I said, her skin tones are pretty close to that tile once you kind of got her in there. Um, and so we were trying to use that that uh, key light you can see here on her elbow, the, uh, the, sh the nice shine there. So we were giving her a nice key from the side, but it also a majority of that light was hitting the background and hitting that nice uh, shape spot behind her. So that was getting a lot more uh, volume out of it and becoming much more brighter and more kind of white than the, the tan gray that it really was. And then uh, you can see that's also kind of giving her a nice side light on her uh, face there. Um, it's also diffused so it's not too harsh. Uh, we do have some hard light though. You can see the shadow of her nose there kind of coming across the other side of her face. But the cool thing about water, I really like about water and hard light, you get these nice cool specular highlights off things. So you can see the shimmer like off her neck and her uh, elbow there and her cheek. So it's like really uh, has that kind of shiny, you know, sparkly look, which is what we're going for. Um, that Lico was acting as our fill, so it was coming in hard and filling in that other side on the right, sorry, her left side, camera right side. Um, and then the, the top again, just a little bit of touch on the top of her head there. And uh, yeah, it kind of achieved what we wanted it to do there. Um, with the time we had, I'm trying to think if there's anything I would have liked better, just more separation in the background, not seeing that little shelf behind her. So nothing, I'm just trying to not call attention to anything in the scene, but the particular soapiness, the, the, the dice and things like that that we were trying to showcase. And we were just trying to go for the classic kind of, um, you know, uh, beauty, uh, shampoo, high-end, you know, attitude kind of a, a look and action there. So we'll jump back in and uh, I'll get the motion going again and we can look at that for a second. All right, so now we're moving again and you can see I've overcranked this. I think I'm shooting this at 60. Um, and so that it was just a little bit more slow motion-y. And I'm just trying to get any kind of, it's gonna be quick shots, cut together fast, um, doing a little rack focus here and there, just little pieces of the, the soap um, sponge. The water, we were disappointed in the water because it was really thin. The water pressure wasn't great, so it was kind of coming out really uh, slowly. Now you can see she's opened her face up right into that nice key light. And that look, I love that. It's super bright. Uh, comes across the problem I couldn't I couldn't we couldn't face that way the camera couldn't move any more left at all we were running into that shower stall wall again just trying to grab kind of cool little tight angles to not show that we were in the this tiny space and again it was going to be more about the sponge so these are just to kind of set the scene being hey this is a high-end beauty ad so just having her do her hair thing all right now we're back onto the the dice again. Um, again, I kind of wish I could have the water be a little more um, showcased, but we didn't really, that was, the, that was the most we got out of it. We couldn't get any, any bigger of a stream, a really fine stream. And uh, there was no other space either to kind of backlit, backlight that, that water to make it uh, uh, show up anymore. Um, if I would have had a little more time, I would have loved to give a bit, little bit harder hit on the soap bubbles so they kind of glowed a little bit. But uh, we only had a couple hours, and so what we did was uh, we shot the uh, the shoulders, face area, and then we tilted down, repositioned the lights for like the abdomen, and then we went down, repositioned lights again, like for her her legs, the classic you know long leg shot. So just again, getting plenty of variety for showing off the product here. 
the dice, the spongy dice. All right, we're gonna jump ahead, I think. You can step into the water already. Just you can step forward towards me, so you're out of the stream. Yes, there we go. Try to be a lot more. So we yeah. So or I think yeah. So step forward. Oh, yes. don't don't fall. Yeah. Okay. We can throw a fanny pad down there. Two more. Okay. Tilt. 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 So we did head or shoulder, abdomen. We're doing the foot now, so we're just adjusting. All these lights. Okay, so tilt down. Because we're just so spot. Let's see if I can get on the legs there. Down. Still under because we're still frame rated. Yeah, that's good. And Alexis is so hard to work with. Yes. I am a you think she You're totally sucking in? Yeah. You can't no. tell, can you? No, you're good. On that wide angle, you just can't tell. No, it's the beauty of the Oh, better. That's better. Oh, there we go. There's more water. Okay. So go ahead and stand back in there. Halfway? Yeah, yeah. So, all right. So you can actually put, let me, uh, actually put your hair in the water. Yeah. And you can step step back a little bit, step towards me just a smidgen. Yeah, so this time we'll do the same kind of sh over the shouldery thing. This time your hair is all wet. So you can stand uh, in the water. Okay, so come forward a little bit. Smooth, like you've never felt before. Touch of Smoothness Body Wash. Provides moisture throughout the day with no greasy f all right, everybody, so one last thing here. So what we've been looking at this whole time is the basically not necessarily the red raw, but it's just whatever in-camera settings I had at the time, which is pretty flat. I, I don't usually like to dial in the settings um, very colorful on set just to kind of keep it all neutral because it always changes when you get kind of into post. So I'm gonna just show you the really quick treatment I did. Sorry, not how I did it this time. That's another tutorial, but just the treatment we did for this, this shot and what basically we did here. Let me just slap it on. Ta-da! So what we did is just kind of take the saturation up a little bit, the contrast up a little bit, took the green out of the picture, added a little more reds for the skin tones, maybe a touch too much red for this, I just did it fast. And then I added a quick vignette on the edges just to kind of again take the attention away from the uh, outside, which I don't care about, more to the inside of the frame. Um, so just again having her do some, any, a variety of poses. So we'll just show the little segment of the ad one more time with the color treatment, then we'll be done. you've never felt before. Touch of Smoothness Body Wash provides moisture throughout the day with no greasy f All right, thanks everybody for uh, watching. And uh, remember, subscribe to the channel. Hop over to Battle Tested Film Gear on Facebook, Facebook slash, uh, flash, Battle Tested, flash, slash, Battle Tested Film Gear, as well as check out battletestedfilmgear.com for all your tips, tricks, tutorials, and tools. We're continually looking for new good products to help you guys out in your filmmaking endeavors. Again, thanks for watching and uh, keep in touch. Oh, Cam and Randall is also my Twitter handle. You can go jump back on that. We'll be doing some uh, pretty soon some new cool giveaways and contests and whatnot to get some cool gear.